Ava was born in 2013 and very soon after she was born it was clear that she had come with a lot of problems. We spent a lot of time in hospital the first while so she is completely tube fed, has a lot of daily seizures, has a shunt for hydrocephalus. She's completely wheelchair bound, completely non-verbal. And we realised that to keep her at home we would need backup. Jack and Jill at that point stepped in. It has been amazing support for us. We've kept Ava home through an awful lot of things that maybe we wouldn't have otherwise because we've had a professional to bounce her condition off. They will do everything in their power to help us keep her at home. We haven't had to bring her into even to A&E, which I'm always very reluctant to do because it's just a hotbed of germs for a child like Ava. Keeping Ava at home and keeping Ava at the centre of our family is, is our biggest thing. So we're shooting for a normal family life with our other three kids and having our Jack and Jill nurses makes that happen. If Ava is front and centre of it. She's in the house. She's not a separate entity to the rest of the family. My other children have her here and they love her and they have full access to her. As much as we love Ava and have embraced the special needs thing, it's very nice to have a little break from it, knowing that she's so well looked after at home. My other children need a time where I don't have most of my attention on Ava. So when Marlene or any of our other Jack and Jill nurses are here, it means that we can just go out like any other family and the others can just relax and have my full attention. Our Jack and Jill nurses are a touchstone for me. I can text them, and I do. I ring them about various things. If she's not well and I'm concerned, but I'm sort of borderline, do I bring her in, do I not? I know that someone professional is coming in and also who know her well. It's not just a random professional. They know Ava since she was tiny. Her consultant has said many times she is much healthier than she has any right to be. And I think Jack and Jill and our nurses have played a massive part in that. When we first got that diagnosis, it was a really black time. You can't see a light, like you can't see a way out of it. Jack and Jill for me have given me a quality of life that I didn't think I was going to have. As the Jack and Jill family, I think we're at the centre of their care. From your liaison nurse to your individual nurses, we're their focus. I know that anytime we've needed an increase in hours, they've been so quick to put that in place. I just think it's an amazing service and I think the way it's run keeps the families at the centre of it. They want to save the state of fortune and keep children at home. If with a little bit of support, they can be home. For us, it's home. Home is always the centre. Home is the beacon. Home is the, you know, our safe space. And Ava's at home and I'm never happier than when she's there. They've just made it possible for me to be a normal mum and my nurses, like, they just, they're part of our family. It has all panned out so much better than I thought it would at the start. And it's thanks to Jack and Jill.